if you set up a field parameter for your category and you want it to display in a fixed order, you can set that as a one-off, but every time you toggle between the fields, you lose the sort order. So there's a quick fix, you need a sort order column. I'll show you how. So let's set up a quick chart. I'm going to do a bar chart. And that is going to be showing something like sales. And then I want to be able to toggle between store city and product name using the new fields parameter. So modeling, new parameter, fields. This is going to be called um, category choice. And we're going to pick either the uh, store name, no, sorry, store city, or the product name. Okay, and click create. That creates this nice little table up here called um, category choice. There it is. And we add this little slicer, which is great. And then we can just click on this chart and put category choice into the y-axis box. So there's our choice of city. And if I pick product name, we get a breakdown of the different products. All good. Okay, that's perfect until you want to sort this differently. Maybe you always want these to display alphabetically. So you come up to the three dots and you say sort axis by store city. Um, annoyingly, it sorts back to front. I don't know why it defaults to that. So you've got to go sort axis um, ascending. So that's how I want it to display. Perfect. Got it all set up. But then somebody comes along and clicks on product name and then clicks back on store city. You've lost the sort order. So you need a sort order column. So I've actually already added one to my um, store table. Let me unhide. So here I've got this display order that I just set up in Power Query using a conditional column. Uh, just said if it's Albany, then one. Otherwise, if it's Dunsborough, then two. Otherwise, if it's Perth, other ways of doing this. Okay, but if I now click on Store City and go to my Sort By City Display Order, okay, that is now set. So what I will do is if I click on Product Name, it sorts it this way. If I click on Store City, sorts it alphabetically the way I want. So if you want things to display in a certain order using this technique, because you're toggling between different categories, you have to have a sort order column. So all my sort order column is, is just something like this. Okay, it's just a number, three and three against Perth and Perth, one and one against Albany and Albany, two against Dunsborough. It has to be the same number against the same piece of text that you want to sort. That's it. Okay, that's the tip. Hope you find it useful. Let me know what you think. Please share this channel with other people. Subscribe if you'd like to. Catch you later.